Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths, building a complete ship, start to finish. Now last time we managed to uh, put together some uh, flares of sorts, flares, missile decoys, whatever you call them, not to be confused with like decoy decoys. Uh, we've got some sonar uh, signal transmitters here in the front and we've got some radar slash uh, sticky flare transmitters uh, here in the back. And yeah, we're uh, we're on our way to cool things. So, um, relying only on one kind of active defense or munition defense is generally not a good idea. Um, you do want to layer them, and we've already kind of been doing that uh, because we've got APS Sea Wiz, Laser Sea Wiz. Uh, we now have flares and anti-torp uh, distractions, but you can always do more, and there's a lot more. So, today. In this episode, we're going to be doing missile interceptors, which are very, very good. They used to not be very good, but these days they're great. So, missile interceptors are basically the more offensive defensive option. Rather than distracting enemy missiles, they fly out and blow them up, and it's very nice. So, as ever, there's multiple ways to set them up, depending on what you want. But personally, what I like to do is I like to stick uh, the missile interceptor racks on the main turrets of whatever craft I'm using because that is um, a pretty simple and straightforward way to get them to point uh, in the direction they're supposed to go which is very nice so to start off with we're going to set up a missile controller for our interceptors so let us go down here do we have room in our AI compartment we really really oh no hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on what's this that's AP. Ooh, we actually. Ooh, we could be cunning here. Let's be cunning. All right, so we're going to have over here. We're going to have. Uh, what are we gonna have? What are we going to have? We're gonna have something like this. All right, so we're gonna go over here to defense to close in. Uh, weapon system controller. We're not gonna bother with a sail uh, fail safe because it's. Like, it's going to be small missiles that do basically no damage to us. And then we're going to have a missile controller, which is going to have a missile transmitter on it. And then it's going to... Uh, what is it going to do? It's going to have a staggered fire here, and just a nice quick one. Let's shrink that. And the reason I'm doing it like this is because this is actually going to... Um, it, uh, well, it's just easier to set up like a whole bunch of uh, missiles uh, with remote um, control like this, I guess. And also it's kind of fitting that the SeaWiz controller is attached to the SeaWiz controller, basically. So, oh, hello. GPP base system efficiency, excuse you. Aha, this actually needs more GPPP, so... We're just, just quickly, I'm going to move these ACBs because they're not that important. I'm going to move them somewhere else. Where can I move them? That's a heavy armor beam. Where can I move them? I'm just going to move them. I'm just going to move them. I'm just going to stick them over here for now. There we go. And then we can go over here. Ooh, glad I caught that. All right, let's go over here. Ooh, and... And yeah, okay, good. APSC Wiz now has enough GPP, PPP. All right, so now we're gonna go over. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go here to set up our C Wiz controller. And let's go here. What do we want? Uh, we're gonna get rid of that because I want these things to fire in every which way. So we're gonna ignore outside distance. I don't want this thing to shoot at things which are. Actually, I do want them to shoot at things which are pretty close. Let's shoot at things which are 1,500 meters away. Missile interceptors tend to be best at uh, medium to long range um, because, well, they're a guided munition. They can guide themselves towards the target. Other things are better at shorter ranges. Sea Wiz is medium distance. And then LAMS, which we're going to get to next time, uh, is great for short range stuff. So, uh, let us, what do we want to prioritize? We do want to prioritize big stuff. So, wait and we want to prioritize actually we want to prioritize distance so we want to prioritize stuff that's close and we don't want to worry as much about stuff that's uh, further away honestly this could 
do the trick. And also, fun fact is that airborne missile interceptors, um, they can hit underwater targets so long as they're just below the surface. Um, but we're going to add a rule uh, that uh, is going to ignore altitude. So it's going to ignore stuff that is um, basically 10 meters below the water or less, which means that it'll, it'll pop the occasional torpedo, but it won't, like, focus on them. Uh, we should probably also... Hmm... What do we want to prioritize? Do we want to prioritize crams or missiles? I actually am going to leave this like this for now, and we can always mess with it later. My default prefab for this uh, has slightly different settings, but let's play around a little bit. Okay, so let's go there. That's channel... One, one transmitter on channel one, and we're gonna hop over onto our APS turret. So, by the way, you don't have to do it like this. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, it's not compulsory. That's just how I like to do things. And we're just going to do something like this, and we're going to turn on that, and we're going to have a receiver there, and we're going to have a bunch of. Let's get you out of the water. We're going to have a bunch of connectors, and by the way, uh, I got this idea from uh, the Great Talons Goshawk, which is a godly class airship uh, that is freaking terrifying, and it's very uh, missile-proof, partially because it spams uh, small missiles that are clumped together like this, because they can actually kind of clip through each other a little bit. So something like this, and like that, and I'm going to... Uh, hop over onto the cram turret and do the same thing. So, same story here. Uh, what do we got there? The cram turret's actually a little bit more beefy in this regard. Uh, that is a 3 millimeter beam, and we're gonna go there, and we're gonna go here. Receiver, and then connectors, and I think this is actually faster to set up than uh, the um, other stuff. One, two, three, four. The downside of what I'm doing right now, by the way, is that it does kind of compromise the armor on the side of the turret. But that's usually okay, because the turret should be facing towards the enemy, so... Yeah. Also, I'm putting some uh, forwards and others back, and uh, others pointing up, so we get a decent spread. And so we can catch uh, stuff um, that's coming both from directly at us and from above. So let's go here... And let us swap that out for an APN. Uh, start delay, yeah, we're gonna leave that. Ramp delay, one, and then we might as well, you might as well make these things as fast as possible because, um, I don't know, they don't last that long anyway. And yeah, they're generally not in the air that long. So that'll do nicely. And now we've just made a whole bunch of interceptors uh, on our main turrets, and that's just beautiful. Let us save like that. And, um, yeah, for the purposes of this, uh, we're going to have to turn the weapons on so we can see how the Seawiz behaves. Actually, we're going to go APS Seawiz, uh, main. Main is these, so we're just going to go these, all right. And we'll have to see. We're going to test that against the Palisade. And what am I missing? I think I was going to say something. Oh, yeah, yeah, now I remember. So uh, you don't have to use small missiles as interceptors. That's what I generally use because it's a lot easier and it's much easier to spam them. Um, medium interceptors. So these guys, I'm just going to put this on the deck so long. Uh, medium interceptors are actually more damage efficient and do uh, much better damage against uh, large and huge missiles. Because you can see for yourself here. So damage to small, medium, large, huge missiles. 2,500, 5,000, 7,500, and 10,000. So they do more damage the bigger the missile is. Uh, so, you know, it takes proportionally less uh, missile interceptors to take out big stuff than small stuff. And uh, then you see over here, uh, this does not scale up as quickly. So 350, 700, uh, 1050, uh, 1,400. Uh, yeah, but I do tend to use... Um, uh, small interceptors pretty much all the time uh, just because um, they reload quickly and you do want these things to reload uh, much faster than whatever missiles are being fired at you so that's important so let's do that now and now nah, we're not going to bother with god mode 
we're going to chuck in our friend the Palisade again. The Palisade's great for testing uh, anti-missile stuff because it just spams so many large missiles at you. Uh, there's other things as well. There's, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, medium, the... not the Scorn. What the hell was it? The Frustration is also great because that spams small missiles. So, if you ever want to test stuff, uh, that is definitely something you can test against. So... I'm going to turn God Mode on there, so we don't blow it up immediately, so we're on there, so immediately we've got um, our flare doing its job pulling uh, missiles into space, and now let's see if our interceptors uh, do the trick as well. So, oh, yep, so we've got something coming in, and these are not firing, and that's uh, rather alarming actually. No, wait! Okay, our Seawiz took care of that. That's annoying. Hold on. So, this is always a pain. This is always a pain. Let's see here. I seem to recall there was always something went wrong. Alright, let's just check. This is why you test stuff as you go. What's happening here? Alright, good. Four receivers and main rule set. Ignore outside. Oh, no, it's... No, wait. Ignore outside, zero, 1,500. Wait. Distance. Hmm. This is always... something. Alright, so... Lieutenant, it's Okami, controlling that. Lock target rule set. Ignore outside altitude. No, okay. Uh, ignore inside altitude. There we go, there we go. Uh, apologies to everybody who saw me do that and uh, have been pulling your hair out for the last two minutes or so. Okay, let's draw that again. Let's draw that again, I say. And let's turn you on. And my phone just went bizzed. How dare you. And this ship has buoyancy issues because it's just oh so heavy. Alrighty, so now... Yes, now we have a whole bunch of interceptors intercepting, doing a very good job, and they in fact took out those missiles um, before, um, well, before the sea was even did it, so that's nice. And you can see, oh yeah, that's the other thing I was going to mention, you can launch missile interceptors just using uh, ACBs as well. But if you use a SeaWiz controller, they uh, prioritize their targets much better because you can actually fine-tune uh, what they're supposed to be doing. And as you can see, these interceptors are all kind of going for the closest target. And they're just doing that and just continuously firing. And it means that in between uh, the distraction flares and the interceptors and the SeaWiz, there's not one Palisade volley uh, that's going to even touch us, which is... Very, very nice. Very, very nice. That's a success. Ah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Alright, let's just check our ammo stores. Uh, because we might be running low. Yes, yes we are. Alright. Alright, so the front of the ship apparently is just going to be like a solid brick of ammunition. Not the hugest fan of that. Uh, but you know what? That's just, you know, that's how it goes. Let's just bulk this up a little bit. Bulk, bulk, bulk. Also, it's a uh, one thing I really should have done is uh, paint uh, these slopes in here a different color so I can see them because you can see that uh, color-wise, ammo boxes and uh, heavy armor beams look quite similar, which is annoying. <sighs> Again, I bu I built this a while ago. <laughs> Aha. Right, let's just... We really should stop prefabbing this, but you know what? We're not going to, apparently. Apparently. Whoops, that's a, a beam? <gasps> Le beam? Oh my goodness, there's so much heavy armor on this thing. She's expensive. This is a big girl. This is a... This is a chonky gal. She's a... She's got a lot of stuff on her. Lots of stuff. Whoops. Alright, how are we doing here? Alright, now let's see if that will do. Oh dear. This is power creep. Uh, in action right now, in case you were wondering. You probably should just... 
Alright, so now... Okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Alright, so now... Torpedo Interceptors, which are... Very similar, if not pretty much exactly the same. So... The only difference is, um... This is gonna be launched, um... Like, you know, from below. So it torpedoes things. Alright, where can we stick these? Where do we have room to stick the- We act- Oh, I just remembered! We have a wet space! This is where wet spaces are quite handy. This little wet gap right here is just like, if when in doubt, you can stick a thing there. Uh, where are we? Uh, that's engine compartment, gotcha. Alright, so let's go just a missile controller, and we're gonna have an all-in-one uh, Seawiz controller, so where's that? That's here. And we're going to just mess around with this, ignore outside that, so add rule, uh, ignore outside uh, altitude, I want this to be that. Alright, so it only goes for that, and it prioritizes uh, weight, where's it, distance, I want max, max, and I also want it to prioritize big stuff, because uh, big torpedoes are very, very bad news. So weight, uh, projectile, where's a projectile diameter, something like that. I also wanted to ignore cram shells because, fun fact, uh, cram shells can be detected underwater, kind of, and um, torpedo interceptors will go for them. Except that if they're underwater, they've probably missed. And uh, if they are not about to miss, it's way too late for torp interceptors to do anything about them. So. We want to ignore outside projectile type, so we want to ignore outside one, it's because one is missile, two is cram shell, and that will do nicely. All right, so now we need what is this? That is not what I wanted actually. All right, so I'm just going to prefab all of this length of two, and then I'm going to make it tidy because I want to. And, whoops, let's not do that, let's do... Actually, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 all right. No, 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 I remembered what I was doing now. All right, so now we're going to have a double bank of these. All right, so by the way, if you use small, too many small interceptors, it lags like crazy, so you might not want to do that, uh, depending on what kind of system you're running. I like using uh, this kind of thing, so I'm just going to roll with it. So, small lawn chair, not lawn chair, don't sit on these. Alright, so I'm just going to, for giggles, put surge protectors down here. Um, probably shouldn't stick them there though, that might be bad. Alright, let's go here, there's, where's our missile controller? We're going to just stick a staggered fire. By the way, for interceptors, you don't need to use an identified front of foe add-on. You just don't need them. They're just, it's kind of built in with them. So, yeah, you don't need to worry about that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. At least you don't need to worry about it um, to any degree that I've ever noticed. So, yeah, all right. Let's orientate that correctly. It's probably not great surge protector placement, but you know what? You know what, we'll stick with that and we'll just see how we do. And then we are going to just wrap some metal around this because heat shells will absolutely ruin our day otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Right, cool. And uh, let's see here. What are we connecting this to? What will this be connected to? That can be connected to main, it's fine. Or actually, no. Um, let's connect this to the Sea Wiz. Whoops. Let's connect this to the sea with... That's channel 3, right? Missiles and torps. No, let's... Uh, it's receiver 2? No, that's receiver 4? It really would be friggin' nice if this uh, drop-down menu, you could see them. Sorry, that came out harsher than I intended. Uh, APS Sea Wiz. I'm gonna rename the channel to Kami, actually. Uh, APS Sea Wiz. And int whoopsie daisy and inter set and uh, the uh, APS missile see was whoopsie daisy that's not what I wanted there we go 
Damn it. See whiz. See whiz. And intercept. Damn it. Okay. Alright, I'll just leave it as APS Seawiz. Have it your way. Okay. Okay. Alright, now we get to test against the thing we tested against last time. So we're going to turn off basically everything except for... Yeah, I know that. And we're going to do that. We're going to save our vehicle. We're also going to check our ammo compartment to make sure we actually have enough ammo for this. Yes, we do. Excellent. Alright, so let's do that. And let's spawn in our friend the Stronghold with its massive as torpedoes. Oh boy. Alright. So, now we got uh, our little things going. Oh, and our regular things are still... Whoa, hello. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> That's why we test things. Um, whoops, so I actually forgot to set these up properly. I'm so glad that I'm leaving in my mistakes so you don't do... Like, if you see me stuff up, and believe me, you'll know when I stuff up, because I'll probably say it, and if I don't say it, the comment section will. Um, like, don't do what I just did. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Let's try that again, but with less failure. That's important. And are you going to despawn or what? Oh, I can't do that. Fred, I can't do that, Jeff. Right, I can't do that. Stand. What's that quote from 2001: Space Odyssey? Anyway, um, let's try this. I that that can friggin. Whoops. Nope. 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 Wrong. 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 There we go. Spawn over there. And then the sea whiz goes, bang, bang, bang. Seawiz tries to take our cram shells and doesn't do a very good job. And now we have an absolute tidal wave of torp interceptors coming in and damaging that missile. And you hopefully should be able to see that they are slowing it down a little bit. So, in slowing it down, they do actually help a lot because they reduce the damage it does. And also, oh yes, 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 oh dear. <laughs> so that's a lot of them. And, um, by the way, these things would have more time uh, to deal with torpedoes if the ship was moving, so... Yeah, did I set the range on that? I should have. Where did I do that? Let's see, ignore outside. Whoops, okay, so ignore outside distance. Distance. I don't want you shooting at things that are a zillion miles away. That's silly. I think the decoy has just pulled another thing. Wow, this is a pretty torpedo-proof craft. Is this thing actually good? Well, not yet, because it's not finished. Alrighty, I could declare that a success. Actually, no, there's another thing. There's another test we can do. There's another test we can do. Let's turn on all the intercepty stuff. Uh, so, what do we want? We want the main guns, and we want the ABS wiz And we're going to spawn in a black current, so... Not the fruit, the submarine. So, hopefully, doing that. That spawns in, and this is, um... Let's see that, so... Hopefully that is pulling stuff off into the distance. Yes, it is. Beautiful, beautiful. Good, 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 good. And... Alright, that is some lovely torpedo interception. 
Right, that put a nice big dent uh, in the volley. That's what we like to see. And our APS is actually damaging it. It can hit it. Two passive sonars. Jolly good. Our uh, main APS isn't super damaging, but you know what? It will friggin' do. Uh, let's turn on the torpedoes. Because why not? Let's blow something up. Let's have some fun. This is a video game. Let's have some fun. <laughs> and um, looks like I need to change that cram cannon. Uh, its settings... It should not be shooting at a black current. That would be silly. And you also have interceptors, you silly billy. Not enough, though. Beautiful. I would like to remind everyone that we currently have activated God Mode on our... Wait a minute, is that what I think it is? Oh, this has ring shields. I never knew that. Huh, you learn something every day. We. How is our job going? It's going actually pretty good. Wow, that's kind of an accident that, um... Like, those, uh, those buoys, like, essentially just pull uh, those torps down into the line of fire uh, of those... Where are you going? Oh. Ah! Oh, no! We lost a whole missile volley. Oh, well, well, that'll do. That's successful uh, interception of the missile and torpedo variety. And let's see here. I'm going to tick that off. Uh, on my to-do list and hopefully that's all the ammo compartments we actually need i don't think this thing will be able to float if i put much more on so that will freaking do uh for this episode of building a complete ship so thank you all so much for watching please like comment subscribe if you want to see more videos like this support me on patreon or youtube membership if you like it really helps and there's fun perks in it for you thank you to all my current supporters and i will see you Next time, in From the Depths, building a complete ship, start to finish. Farewell.